Hello everyone, this is the Techno Dog channel. In this video, we're going to compare two top processors, the Intel Core i7-9700K and AMD Ryzen 7 3700X, and also test the performance in modern games. The difference in prices is about 24% depending on the supplier of the product. You can find out the current cost of processors by clicking on the links in the description below. Like this video, subscribe to the channel, and don't forget to click on the bell, so you will always be the first to watch our new reviews and comparisons. The AMD Ryzen 7 3700X replaced the Ryzen 7 2700X and is a direct competitor to the Intel Core i7-9700K. The 3700X has the Massite architecture and belongs to the third generation Ryzen processor line. The 9700K is based on the modern architecture of Coffee Lake Refresh and belongs to the i7 series. Just like its predecessors, the 3700X is compatible with the AM4 socket and is able to work on motherboards released during the first and second generation of Ryzen. The i7-9700K also has a standard socket. It is the LGA-1151. As for their energy consumption, the AMD processor will be more economical in this regard. It needs 65 watts, while its competitor needs at least 95 watts to work. The characteristics of these models also have certain differences. Both processors are 8-core, but the 3700X has 16 threads, which is 8 more than the i7-9700K. The 3700X has more cache of the second and third levels, so there will be more storage for your data with quick access. Also, the model from AMD has a newer technological process. It is only 7nm which increases the processor power and minimizes its power consumption. The i7-9700K process technology has a value of 14 nm. The maximum core frequency is higher for the i7-9700K. It is 4.9 GHz, which is 0.5 GHz more than the Ryzen 7 3700X. At first, it seems that the AMD product has more advantages. Its competitor from Intel costs significantly more, and it has less threads. However, if we talk about games, the Intel's hyper-threading technologies and the AMD model's SMT don't need to increase the performance of the processors. If you need to do professional tasks that demand all the computing resources of the processor, it would be better to have the 16 Virtual Thread 3700X. The characteristics of the models with 8 cores with a high clock speed seem to be perfect for having comfortable FPS in modern games, even at ultra-high graphics settings, with a productive graphics card in it. Well, let's check it right now. Let's see how the processors work in various games. The Ryzen 7 3700X is going to work with the MSI X570 creation motherboard, the Intel Core i7-9700K is going to be paired with the Gigabyte Z390 Aorus Ultra motherboard. We're going to use the MSI Trio GeForce RTX 2080 Ti graphics card in all configurations. Testing was carried out at the maximum graphics setting so we could fully evaluate the performance of the processors. Assassin's Creed Odyssey is an action-slash-RPG game from Ubisoft which was released in the fall of 2018. The game's events are during the Peloponnesian War in ancient Greece. You will play as the descendant of the legendary Spartan king, Leonidas. As you can see, the third generation Ryzen in full HD resolution is only 3% behind the i7-9700K. The difference is also minimal in 2K resolution. It is only 6%. By the way, don't forget that you can find out all the current prices for these processors by clicking on the links that I left for you in the description below this video. Battlefield 5 is the 15th game of the series from Electronic Arts, released in May 2018, 
In this first-person shooter, you will learn several small stories about the Second World War. You will also try yourself at the battlefield, playing for the military of various branches of the armed forces and nationalities. As for the testing, both models also showed excellent performance here. There are no serious drawdowns, so the Intel processor remains to have more advantages. This time, the difference is 8% in Full HD and 4% in 2K resolution. In summer 2018, Canadian studio Idios Montreal released Shadow of the Tomb Raider, the final part of the adventure trilogy of the legendary Lara Croft, better known as the Tomb Raider. This time, Intel's performance looks more solid than that of its competitor. The i7-9700K showed a result of 114 frames versus the Ryzen's 102 FPS in the resolution of 1920 by 1080. The same results are seen in 2K resolution. It is 97 FPS of the i7-9700K against 89 frames of the 3700X. The Division 2 is a third-person shooter published by the French company Ubisoft in March 2019. The virus, which turned New York into a post-apocalyptic zone, reached Washington. The government sent the military to clear the contaminated territory. Unfortunately, the real civil war broke out in the weakened capital. Survivors began to create groups and fight among themselves for zones of influence. Both models provided smooth gameplay without problems. The i7 and 9700K showed better results in full HD resolution with an advantage of 11%, but the processors showed the same performance in 2K resolution. Far Cry New Dawn is another Ubisoft first-person shooter released in February 2019. The action takes place in the already familiar, from the last part of the game, Hope Country. This time, the player gets into it 17 years after a nuclear disaster. People have already left the bunkers and gradually began to restore the destroyed civilization. The main character will have to confront a gang of looters called Raiders, whose members suffer from megalomania and don't want to live by the general rules. As for the test results, the situation is no different from previous tests. The FPS gap in favor of the processor from Intel is 8% in Full HD, and it is 4% in 2K resolution. Well, let's have a look at the final results. Today, we compared the Intel Core i7-9700K and the AMD Ryzen 7 3700X. These processors met our expectations. The first thing worth noting is the high FPS in games for both processors. There was a slight margin in favor of the Intel model. It was about 10%. In real gaming conditions, you are unlikely to notice much difference between them. If you want to have one of the fastest gaming processors, then your choice will be the i7-9700K. If you are looking for a budget option for work, creating content, doing resource-intensive tasks, while not chasing the maximum values in game tests, then the Ryzen 7 3700X will be an excellent choice for you. What do you think about this? Is it worth it to purchase the i7-9700K with a slight increase in gaming performance? or? Is it better to have the cheaper 3700X and can the AMD model provide stable operation over a long distance? Write your opinion as well as the themes for the next videos in the comments below. Well, don't forget to subscribe to the video, click on the bell and like this video. It was the Technodog channel. Bye!